What's up guys, Michael Vo here with Hard Times Woodworks, and I made this video while building four sets of bookshelf speakers. I had made a set in the past and had some friends ask for sets, so I thought I'd film the process. Like any wood project, I started by getting all the lumber I was going to be using milled up. I joined and planed a few species of wood. I made a maple and paduke set, a walnut and maple set, a pecan and walnut set, and a mahogany and maple set. After milling everything to the correct thickness, I ripped them down on the table saw, followed by using my crosscut sled to cut the 45 degree angles for the mitered ends. Once this was done, I used a table saw with a dado stack to cut the rabbits at the front and back of the boards to allow the back panel and baffle to sit within it. Using a torch, I heated up my branding iron to brand the inside of each speaker before glue-ups. It's a nice touch that I often forget to do on my projects. For glue-ups, I lined all the boards along a flat piece of wood and added tape to hold them all into position together. This helps ensure that the corners stay lined up along the miter joints. Then use clamp straps to pull them all tight. Between glue ups, I went ahead and started putting together the crossovers. I ordered these PC boards from someone who makes them specifically for this crossover design. The speaker and crossover configuration I went with was the Overnight Sensations. All the parts can be found on PartsExpress.com. They even sell full kits that have plywood enclosures that you can glue up yourself. I hot glued all the components to the board and used zip ties on the inductors, since they weigh a little bit more than the capacitors and resistors. When everything is in place, I trimmed the wires on the back side and soldered all the connections. At this point, I started milling the baffles on the CNC. Besides the sound that these speakers put out, the baffle is my favorite part. It's kind of my signature texture on projects. I have another video on here explaining how to model something like this up yourself in Fusion 360. Check it out. I roughed out the texture with a quarter inch flat end mill, then followed that up with a quarter inch ball nose with a small step over so it leaves a super smooth finish on the baffle. Then a quick trimming of the tabs and a cleanup on the router to smooth everything out. After that, a quick sanding to knock down any burrs left behind. I have a sled for my table saw that allows me to add splines to all the mitered corners. These probably aren't necessary, but they do add strength and a nice accent to the enclosures. I glue and tap all the splines in with a hammer, then let them dry before trimming. I trim them with a Japanese flush saw, then use a small Kana plane to flush up the splines. After this is finished, the enclosures are ready for sanding and finish. I used a DA sander with a hard backing on it. This helps keep the sanding flat and not have any uneven pressure. 
I did miss the video of spraying the finish on these boxes, as well as the milling of the feet and back plates on the CNC. I milled out some walnut rings to glue on the inside of all the baffles. These let the speaker screws have a little extra grip to them. I glue and use a homemade press to hold them together while the glue dries. I also glued some blocks of poplar on the inside of the back corners of the speaker enclosure. This allows for more grip strength of the screws and hold the back panel into place. At this point, all that is left is to assemble all the pieces. The feet were fastened to the enclosure from the inside. The baffles on the front were glued into place and the tweeter speakers were press fit into the baffle. I pre-drilled everything and started assembly. First, I connect the speakers to the crossovers, then screw the crossovers into place. Once in place, I get the speaker fastened to the baffle. The back just needs the port fastened, followed by the terminal plate. After the terminal plate is screwed in, I can attach the crossover, then get the back screwed into place. After this, I snagged a few quick pictures and sent the speakers on to their permanent homes. The Maple and Paduke set was gifted to my friend Scuba, who you might see at the end of this video. He has a channel beer tube that you should probably check out. The Walnut set will most likely be donated to a charity auction in the future. I kept the Mahogany set and the Pecan and Walnut set went to my friend Eric, who runs River City Salmo here in town. He provided me with all the wood for these builds. I plan on putting together more build videos from my shop this year, as well as more Fusion 360 tutorial videos. If you enjoyed this or want to see more, subscribe to the channel.